Okay, so I'm back with the Christmas cards that I've made so far. Okay, so here is one of the first cards I made, and it is using the um, Stamps of Life die set that I received for October. And here's the stamp set that comes with it, but I didn't use the stamp sets yet. Um, I just cut out the body and use this really glittery paper. I cut out a hat and I cut out the scarf. I embossed the scarf first before I cut it out so the scarf could have some dimension on it. And then I just used some black embellishments for his eyes and mouth and for the buttons. And I just hand cut a, a carrot nose because I didn't have anything to use. But there's that. I cut out some of these snow drifts. I forgot. I mean, I think they're from Lawn Fawn. I'm not sure. And then I use this pattern paper in the back that looks like snow. So there's that. I didn't put a sentiment on it. I'm probably just going to put one inside. And then I also cut a snow drift for inside so it looks like snow. So yeah, there's that first one. So here's a card I made using the Simon Says Stamp um, Ugly Sweater Stamp Set. And then I cut it out using the die. But this is just a simple card. I just layered a bunch of paper. I layered some green and then layered this one. Um, I think this die that I used to cut this is from my favorite my favorite things and then I layered more green paper and then some of that white paper that I used for the snowman in the previous card and then I Copic colored this sweater and then there's that inside is plain so there's that card so I made this card using the Simon Says Stamp set Be Joyful. I just used this stamp right here and then this sentiment Be Joyful. I just um, stamped that continuously on here. I didn't care if it like overlapped. I just thought it was fun. It looks like garland hanging down like a party and says just be joyful so it's kind of like happy to me because of their stars and everything so I just embossed this with some shimmery blue embossing powder and then the sentiment be joyful and that's it it's just a plain and simple quick card There's so that. here's the next card that I made and I um punched out all these hexagons using this Epiphany Crafts hexagonal punch and I just used a bunch of different Christmas paper pads that I had and then I like puzzle piece them together and glued them. So these are all from different paper stacks and then I used some bubble caps to to highlight um, three of the papers so it gives it some dimension. So I did this one, this one, and this one right here. Then I used this Seasons Greetings die right here from Simon Says Stamp. I, I layered two so it would stand out a little bit more. So there. So there's that one. And inside is plain. I had a bunch of extra hexagons that I punched out so I decided to make an ornament and make this card. It's simple but I, I think it turned out pretty cool. Um, I used a striped embossing folder for the background just to give it a little something. Um, I made this ornament and then I used um, this ornament topper right here from this Stamps of Life set that I have. So I put that ornament topper on there and then I just put some string to tie it. And then I used this Merry Christmas Sentiment from the Be Joyful Simon Says Stamp kit. And right there. And put it on a popped up banner. 
That's it. And then I just put um, a couple white sequins there on the top. So there's that card. Okay. So I made this shaker card right here. And I used um, this Inca Dinka Do stamp set. Oh, it's upside down. Um, I used that town right there and then that sentiment above it. Um, I white embossed, I used white embossing powder. And then I used different blue um, distress inks to color the background. Um, for the shaker part, I used some of this. It looks like snow and has snowflakes. I got this from Hobby Lobby uh, that one time that I went a while ago. So yeah, there's that. So it looks like a snowy scene and I really like it. And then inside, did I do Inside I just glued uh, a couple of those snowflakes inside. So yeah, there's that. Okay, so the last two cards I made, I used the same um, die for both of them. I used this Santa sleigh die right here. Um, this one is from My Favorite Things. And yeah. I made these two cards right here. Oops. Let's see. Okay, I made those two cards. And so what I did was I cut out the base. So I did this one in gold and this one in black. And then I did it again, but with some designer paper. And then I fussy cut it out the center panel right here. And then just put it there. So it gave it a little bit more something, something. And then in this one, I just made some presents and stacked them up really high. I don't know how Santa's going to fly this because he has nowhere to sit, but <laughs> whatever. Um, I made these presents and then I wrapped them with some Baker's twine. And then I ended up putting these little tags on there. It says from Santa. And yeah, there's that one. And then just uses this... I use the Sentiment Seasons Greetings. Um, it's probably from a Simon Says Stamps um, a stamp set. I just don't, don't know which one. And then just put a couple banners inside. So there's that one. Okay, here is the second card that I made with the Santa Sleigh die from My Favorite Things. Again, I just wanted a different color scheme, so I did a black sleigh instead and a red panel. And I put some presents in there, just like the other card. But this time I wanted to fill it up with other things. So I used the um, Ugly Sweater stamp set. I have one stamp set number one and two. Um, so like in this one I have the wreath and then the gingerbread and the candy cane. And then the other one is where the stocking came from. But I just Copic colored them and fussy cut them out because there's no dye for them. But I thought this one turned out pretty cute. Again, Santa has nowhere to sit in this sleigh, but <laughs> it's okay. So yeah, that's it. Those are the Christmas cards that I've made so far. Um, I still have a lot more cards to make because I'm going to try to send them out to a bunch of friends here on YouTube and other people. So yep, I still have time to make them but I'm glad I got some out of the way but anyway that's it I hope you guys again are having a wonderful day until next time bye